So I was having lunch with Charles Manson the other day. And he looks at me and he says, is it hot in here or am I crazy? Ben made me this. Isn't it cool? Hey? You dang kids, get off my lawn. So this is Penguin driving through the desert. And he's driving along, and all of a sudden his car starts clanking and knocking, and I said, oh, man. So pulls over to the side of the road, calls AAA. They come, they pick him up, they bring him to this tiny little one-horse town where there happens to be one garage there to fix the cars. So he says, uh, well, you know, what's wrong? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up, look in your engine, figure out what happened. He says, well, how long is that going to take? I don't know. Give me like an hour. So the penguin's walking around trying to figure out something to do. It's hot. It's the desert. And he's a penguin. So he's looking and he sees this ice cream shop. He's like, ice cream? Heck yeah. So he walks in and he stands there in the air conditioning for a little while. He's all happy, happy. And finally, the guy says, uh, you know, you got to order something or you got to leave. He says, all right, fine, fine. I'll, I'll have, a, uh, have a vanilla cone, please. Says, all right. You know, none of this is weird that he's a penguin, right? Just go with it. So he comes out. He's walking back to his car. It's a little bit of a walk. Sun's beating down. He's got ice cream all over all of him. It's dripping off of him. And the guy says, uh, he goes back to the garage. He goes, so what's wrong with my car? And the uh, mechanic is feet coming up out of the car, you know, going around, danging on stuff. And finally he thinks he got it. So he just pulls up from the car, takes one look at him and goes, looks like you blew a seal. And he says, no, no, it's just ice cream. <laughs> We passed the audition. Dearly beloved, darling. <laughs> Love the outfit, darling. <laughs> Love the butt, birthday boy. Hi. So my wife doesn't think you people are ready for this joke. So I have a new hobby. No? Oh, funny you should ask. I like to go to really, really crappy movies, like the, the worst rerun crappy movie you can find. I like to go into them, and I like to find the other dude in the movie theater. And I like to sit right next to him and sidle up close. And you watch him. In the beginning, they're a little uncomfortable. And then they get just overly mad. And then they say something. Hey, man. And I always reply the same way. Shh. I can't hear Keanu. <laughs> Two Dutch girls. I've never come this way before. <laughs> <laughs> Are riding down on their bikes on a, on a couple street. Cobblestone Street, and one of them looks at the other one and says, oh, I've never come this way before. I'm sorry, I've never come this way before. No, I've, you tell it. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm ready now, are you ready now? I'm ready. <coughs> so a guy walks into a bar. You guys ready for this? Pro probably not. He looks over in the corner and there's this huge jar full of money. Sorry, keep talking. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I was singing. And he says to the bartender, so what's up with the, what's up with the money? He says, well, we have we got three tests. If you pass all three tests, you can keep all of that money. And let me warn you, a lot of people have tried. It's, it's not easy. And the guy's like, well, eh. If a lot of people have tried, I probably am not going to do it. So he has a couple beers, liquid courage. He keeps eyeballing that jar of money. He says, all right, what are the tests? So the bartender says, all right, first, there's a huge dude in the corner over there. You have to beat him in arm wrestling. And he looks over, and the guy's just there flexing and flexing. He says, oh, this doesn't look easy. All right, what are the other two? 
Well, there's an alligator in a pond in the back of the bayou back here. It's got a black tooth. You have to go in and extract the black tooth and bring it back inside. And he says, well, shoot, well, I mean, yeah, I'm a good swimmer. I'll give it a try. What's the third thing? There's an old lady upstairs, hasn't had sex in 10 years. You have to have sex with her. And oh, she's not pretty. And he says, well, 10 years, all right. I'll be like, it'll be like our first time all over again. I'll do it. So he walks over to the big guy, sits down, grabs the big guy's hand, give him a big wet kiss, tongue and everything. The guy's reeling, slams his hand down. Boom, first test done. So, all right, so now it's your time for your second test. So he goes wading out into the bayou and up comes this gator. I mean, this thing's 20 feet long if it's an inch and he's staring at it. And the gator's staring at him. So he's like, screw it, I'm in for a penny, in for a pound. Pounces on the gator. They're thrashing and rolling, tails flapping the water, his feet are up in the air, everybody's rolling around and around and around. Finally, he comes walking out of the bayou. Oh, okay, all right, fine. That's two down. Where's that old woman with the black tooth? I went to a zoo, and the zoo man said, beware the camel spits. And he was. It's an old Australian folk song. <laughs> you say that every time. Ooh, baby, baby. Beat up on this. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ah, push it. Clicker, clicker. Ah, push it. <laughs> clicker, 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 clicker. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Get up on this. Ooh, baby, baby. Your mama is so fat, every time she turns around, it's yeah, another day. Oh. Oh. Guy walks into a bar, and he's having a drink, there's a little bowl on the table, and he's sitting there, he hears this little voice going, Hey, that's a really nice shirt. He's looking around, he goes, what? Keeps drinking, and another voice going, Wow, you really have style. Looking around, he finally says to the bar, what the hell is that? And he says, oh, that's just a complimentary nuts. So this, uh, this uh, egg and the sausage are in a frying pan, and the sausage says, boy, it sure is hot in here, and the egg says, wow, a talking sausage. I hear that though once a week. <laughs> Seriously, I do. Yeah, right. Because it actually happened to me. You know, this, this guy actually came up and said, can I tell you a joke? And he said, so a, woman, you know, a man goes up to a woman and he says, can I smell your pussy? And she said, no, you cannot. And he said, oh, well, then must be his feet. So this drunk guy was in the bar. And he, he saw another guy, very suave looking guy, walk up to a very attractive woman and go up to her and says, tickle your ass with a feather. She goes, excuse me, and he goes, oh, particularly nasty weather. And the drunk man goes, oh, that's really good, I'll try that. So he goes home to his wife. He's pretty drunk. And uh, he could still play guitar, but not tune it, that kind of drunk. And he walked up to his wife and went, can I stick a feather up your ass? She goes, what? And he goes, oh, come to the day. <laughs> <laughs>